Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Friday, TGIF, November 24, 2023. Wearing an appropriate shirt. Christmas is officially happening as a big truck. Very rarely do you see these large trucks pulling through celebration right here. Nonetheless, one is at this time. I am on Market Street here in town. I'm gonna make the short commute over to Epcot Center where Festival of the Holidays kicks off today. An event I always look forward to. The storytellers, Figment in his Christmas sweater. And I'm curious if the Figment meet and greet, which reared its head starting a few months ago, if today is gonna change into his holiday ugly sweater. Join me, shall you? In all reality, there is just so much to even talk about at the Festival of the Holidays. So I'll just wait till I get there and then showcase as much as I can do. It's about 11.15. Soon to be 11, well, it's probably about 11.16. Probably be 11.17. I'm gonna head over and also stay till nightfall because I want to ride living with the land. They have all the lights, the Christmas lights, inside the land as well. And probably some food and snacks. And I do not want to mess with Starbucks at Epcot because I know it's going to be very, very busy. So I'm going to hit the one here in celebration and drink my piping hot caffeinated beverage on the way over and be hyped up when I get there. All right, went ahead and got it. I think from now on, I think I'm going to start looking into doing the mobile ordering in there because it is getting so busy. I kind of feel like I should have just taken my chances at Epcot. I mean, it probably would have been a little busier going over there and getting coffee there, but the, Star the Starbucks here in Celebration is getting very, very busy. So maybe I'll start looking into the mobile ordering. Try, they ever try the mobile order at Starbucks, but maybe in the future. Starting to drizzle a little bit too. I can just pretend it's snow. It's only 63 degrees, but let's pretend it's snow, make it more Christmassy. But it is drizzling. I do like the fact that it is kind of cool and crisp out though. Also, I4 westbound in front of real smooth. That's only because it's pre-noon at rush hour on a Friday. It'd be a whole different experience, right, Mickey Powerful? I don't really like the fact that it's sprinkling, but I do like the fact that it's a little cooler than it has been the last couple days. Not even gonna get above 65 today. It's gonna be nice. Pretty dang happy to be heading in here today on the first day of this. Of all the festivals at Epcot, this is one of my two favorites. This and Festival of the Arts are my two faves. I feel half naked without my magic band. I left my magic band at home. I mean, I do have my AP card and I also have the app, but I'm so used to wearing my magic band, I just feel like something's missing. Also, the trams are back here at Epcot. I think I'm just gonna walk it because it's not too far. I'm over here in Dory, parked in Dory. 404 Dory. You see it right there on the ground. Kind of hoping the monorail would launch out here on us return back to TTC. I'm getting the tram going by, but no monorail. Monorail just kind of sitting up there in the little station there. A oh, little shaving a haircut. Two bits. But the monorail is just not wanting to move. Stood here for a complete cycle of the trams. That thing's still nestled up there in its little cubby hole. Got to come up with a game plan, however, on what I want to be doing when I get inside the park. Thinking maybe starting in Future World, possibly go over and see if Figment is going to be in his little section, all ready to rock in his ugly Christmas sweater, and then possibly see other things that might be happening in Future World. Because once I get knee deep into World Showcase, it just that's just like a treasure trove of storytellers and Christmas goodness back in there. And then obviously I'll end with Future World when they have hit in Future World at the very, very end when I ride living with the land with the Christmas lights on. Cause definitely got, definitely got to do that. That is a, that is a must do. All right. 
right, I have found the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays 2023 date stamped merchandise here. This is like a spirit jersey, but also has like a little fluffy, fluffy items over here. And there's a little, some cookie jars right over here too. And this cork sickle mug. It's not a, not a Turbis tumbler, but kind of reminds me of a Turbis tumbler, but it's more made out of like more metal. So something like, uh, yeah, something like something Ozzy would like. And there's even like this little, uh, little purse here as well. I guess it's a purse. Yeah, it's a purse. Yes, I like the, the front of it there, the little the softness of the cloth. And more of a standard hoodie here. Oh, this is cool. This is a pass holder hoodie. Festival Holidays 2023. I do like date stamp stuff. Looks like they have all the stuff around World Showcase right there. And more of my style would be a pen. I do collect pens. So at the end of the night, I want to carry a lot of stuff around with me. I'm probably going to get one of these pass holder pens. And then there's also the, the regular pens up here too. This is the non-pass holder. So even if you don't have an AP, you can purchase this one. And these are for, for APs right here. So look, there's two, two different pens. Both of them both date stamp with the 2023. Oh, you know what? Evidently, this is annual pass holder too. Even though this doesn't say annual pass holder on it. I don't think this is. I think it's just, I think it's on the same stand. And you got the, check it out, you got the little ornament right there. And speaking of sweater spirit, well, this is a spirit, just a spirit jersey, but this sweater here, I really like this long sleeve. It's kind of neat because it has, it's the Disney 100th, 100 years of uh, wonder. I might get that at some point, not today, but I think that's going to be on my radar. That's not part of Festival of Holidays, but I just wanted to show it. Oh my goodness, look at this figment headwear, right? You put it on the top of your head. That is so dang cute. All right, there he is, Figment. Oh, and Figment is not wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. I guess only on the ride, but you know what? He's hamming it up for me, so. Oh, he's, he's hyping up the crowd right here. He's hyping it up. They're bringing it up, bringing it down low, bringing it up, hyping it up. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so he opted not to wear his uh, ugly Christmas sweater. At least I'll see him on the ride wearing it. All right, these are evidently new too, but they're going pretty fast. There's not a whole heck of a lot of these left. Look at the ears there of Figment. That's pretty awesome. And it was a 35 minute wait to go on Journey to Imagination, so I might check back a little bit later. Now I do know that he is in there with this sweater on. Christmas sweater. All right, I was hearing some rumblings and from a few people were saying that the holiday remix of Guardians of the Galaxy is not happening there. So there'll be no Run Run, was it Run Run Rudolph, I think it was? last year evidently they're not doing that this year just the just the regular six songs that you get normal songs all right it's one o'clock right now i'm kind of half tempted to buy an umbrella it's supposed to rain for the next couple hours maybe i could just kind of stay out of it. it's 63 degrees and drizzling now since i did not get a venti i was kind of a medium coffee earlier i was still craving a little caffeine and something hot so i came over to sunshine seasons they were out of coffee they were brewing up another one so i went with a hot cocoa and later I'm going to go on living with the land and I'm hoping they get it up back and running. But right now there's a whole crew of people over there trying to get it run. Maybe they're putting the lights up. Maybe there's an issue with the lights or the system itself. But yeah, today's the first day. Well, I think the lights were up like maybe a week or two ago, but it'd be nice to ride it during festival of the holidays. But rise up right now, it is down. I'll check back later. There goes another Monterey. I'm coming, Figment. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to see you in your Christmas sweater and animatronic form. Yeah, you know something special is going on on Journey to Imagination Figment ride when the line backs up all the way out here and it is a supposed 35 minute wait? That's because Figment is in his holiday sweater. It's also interesting, a couple years ago, they used to let you write your, used to let you and your party write the, a na your name in the book right here. You could put the date next to it. So if it was a certain event or you were celebrating something or it was an opening day of something, they would actually let you go past the stanchions with the cast member's help. They would walk you over there and you could sign the book. But the book, I have not seen the book in a while, so maybe they got rid of that. Also got Rick Moranis up on the wall there, Robin Williams from Flubber, and of course Nigel Channing with Figment next to it. Now you can see the line is kind of backed up over here, but once I get on here, there's going to be Figment in two spots wearing his ugly Christmas holiday sweater. The first one is going to be the section that he's kind of like popping up with the telephone. So we've got the tele... It's interesting too that Figment is like really one of the last people on Earth, well, the last dragon on earth if you will if you will that actually uses a corded telephone like i used back in the 90s in like my parents kitchen you know it was like a corded telephone and the last one is before you go up into his open house for his upside down area he's also wearing the ugly christmas sweater there as well so he's in two parts figment wearing the christmas sweater this could always good. They started this a few years ago, and I'm glad they keep the tradition going. Now, I had heard it said that they've, these walls are supposed to be coming down first week of December. It'd be interesting to see 
if that actually happens and all this construction is done. I mean, it, it is possible, but goodness gracious, they got, they got a lot to do back in there. Also, I have the Festival of the Holidays passport, which has all the different countries around the world showcase and what particular items, delicious treats and savory goodness. At some point, got to head over to the Odyssey. I'm going to start making my way around World Showcase, but not exactly which sure which way I'm going to go around. Also, Tim and Jen are here. Jen and Tim are here. They're both here. I just took a picture of you took filming a... the monorail. Oh. The apple caramel crumb cake. It's all sweet. Chocolate covered toffee brittle. And There's nothing it. savory in here. It's all oh, sweet. No, this is the holiday hearth desserts. Oh, I should have looked at that first, right? <laughs> So you took a photo of me on the monorail, Jen? Or I did. In the you, you should put it in right here. Well, I don't do that. I don't insert stuff. I don't. Well, I sent it to you. But I don't ever insert that. How about I just show it to me on your phone? I kind of go old school with my stuff. I only show what is physically when I'm filming. This you don't, you really? Don't I never Photoshop. I never edit anything in. It's nope. Literally just. I never do. I never do that. Yeah. I, I keep it. I keep it old school. Yeah. So I just do this. So it's almost like. Everything I do is like at the, at the time of it being done, if okay. that makes any sense. So like okay. nothing is post-production in my video. Well, you Except for all of the production. Except the editing. Except for all the post-production. All right, now you're confusing me. <laughs> Another monorail going by right there. We were just talking about the monorail. Also inside the former Odyssey building, you can meet Santa up until I think the 23rd maybe. Cannot meet Santa here on New Year's Eve or or not New Year's Eve, but Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, because he's busy. He probably already knows, that, at least today anyway. I'm on Team Naughty. That right there is a hidden Mickey of, of sweet goodness the trackers oh. have right here. Oh. I'm kind of waiting for something savory, even though I think you're going to probably like have me take a bite of this, but just I'm going to make you. <laughs> you were like, hey, you were like, try a cookie. <laughs> try. <laughs> what would that be considered, a donut? It's a, it's a it's cookie. It's mousse, it's a mousse. It's oh, on it's a cookie though, you see? Okay. Oh, it's it like is, a, yeah. It's like a, and what is this right here? This is like a pie? That is a apple caramel crumb cake. It's a cake. That looks pretty good. It does look cake. Good. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, that looks good. Maybe I will try some. All right, you talk me into it. All right. <laughs> you're going to take a break from eating? I'm going to break a piece Oh, you're going to break apart. I thought you were going to take a break from, from eating the sweets. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try. Happy Wait, holidays. I know that voice. It's Happy pitching Mr. Morrow. <laughs> oh, I thought you... You're the one that sings that song. Yeah, yeah, I could be that one. No, no, I wish. <laughs> Burl Ives. Burl Ives, yeah. It is is it Burl Ives? Say, I, well, I'm sure everyone does. I was going to say Ben Crosby. I feel like he's... I don't even know if it is Burl. Like Christmas songs are universal because everybody sings them. Like they all yeah. sing their different versions. Thurl Ravencroft. Thurl Ravencroft. Tony, Tony the Tiger. Yes, also in Haunted Mansion. Also in Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Burl Ives, yeah, one. Bur famous for Frosty the Snowman. Ah, Burl, that's it, yeah. Uh, Bing Crosby, famous for... Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. <laughs> Crosby, yes. Yeah, I love it. I'm have, always dreaming. Have you tried any treats yet? Oh yeah, what have you tried? <laughs> oh, I tried, tried everything. You tried everything, everything already? At this one, you tried it was nothing. Great. We got it all together, and uh, we all like just grabbed a fork and tried every single one of them, and uh, loved it. It was great. The only thing is, I you know, I I, I really loved the peppermint pinwheel, but I didn't like the mousse. The mousse is too minty. Which, yeah, of, like which the mousse. of these yeah, should I try? It's like, it's like these two. I should try both of these. Oh, this one's really, really good. good. Yeah. I'm gonna try both of them. <laughs> That's good. Think like about right. <laughs> oh, I could eat that. I could totally eat the other one. Eat it. I'm it's not yours. Going to. I want to try some of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. Thank you. Oh, so nice to oh my gosh, that's hard. That's like hard to break yeah, this off. Is this so is the topping. It's so Thank buttery. You too. Isn't that so good? I like this one better. Ooh. It's yours. Wow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I don't know though. It's I actually do like this. Now that the the holidays put me in the best of the mood. <laughs> also, another monorail going by. Well, how would you put it in comparison? You should take a photo and uh, I'll insert it right here. <laughs> look. You know that song? Look at this photograph. I know. Look at this graph. Yeah. I, that, I, that's the most hilarious <laughs> meme. <laughs> look at this. Using a plastic knife. That's what it looks like. Would you look at that? Would you look at it? Just look at it. Just look at it. Just talk about memes all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is that? The texture is a little strange. All right, I think we're gonna go over to Italy and watch one of the storytellers, which starts at 3:30. So we're trying to head over there now, get through this thickness of this crowd. 
We are not flying right now. Huh? Can you be a very good girl? No flying. Be good girl? You promise? Okay. So we, oh! Oh, it's okay. You are a very naughty girl indeed. You stand right there and you think about what you have done, huh? Pardon, <laughs> uh, uh, my friends. Oh, she's very nervous today. But she has very good reasons to be nervous. My friends, have you seen any witches here today? No? No mean witches? See? My name, La Befana, means gift giver. I am the gift giver in my country, in Italian. So if you have been very, very good, La Befana brings toys and goodies and sweets, yes? But if you have been maybe not so very good, what do you think La Befana brings to you then, huh? Oh Love my coal? goodness, everybody knows coal. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> I have to keep an eye yeah. on them, huh? Got some of that. Now, before. in America, who is that? Yeah. Is that Santa? Santa Claus? Well, I must tell you something. Just awesome. I have been bringing gifts down the chimneys of all the bambini. Long time before old Saint Nick was even a bambino himself. <laughs> well, La Befana does not have a sleigh. Well, what do you think of fun on my flyer? Oh, you think so? Yes, on the brown stick. See, because I am a witch. <laughs> <laughs> but one word they say, I remember. They say, Bethlehem. You heard this word before? Yes, it's good to know the Bethlehem after all the stories. But you know, way back then, I'm sorry, sir, I do not know what the Bethlehem is. In thousand years, I search for the Yesu Bambino, for the Christ child. And on the eve of the Epiphany, this is the day that the wise men come to Bethlehem, I climb down into the chimneys, and I look into the faces of all the children, and I think to myself, what if it is you? Huh? What if you are the Christ child? And you know when they are sleeping, you think it could be so, huh? But Christmas, always, with your own. And with that, I wish to you, Buon Natale is how we say Merry Christmas. Yes, you try that for me, Buon Natale? Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Bella, very, very good. Yeah, it's been starting to rain a little bit through here. Just performing in the rain. I think she might be one of my favorites. Also, like Pierre Noel, quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. There it is. I snuck in on that one. Yeah, because we got a picture with La Bafana. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to insert it into our video. Do yeah. you see yourself? Oh, I'm right there. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. Like lurking. Always watching. That's a scary one. <laughs> Always watching you. Oh, it's a chocolate. It's so this all this is new for this $10. year. $10. My goodness. That's, That's like $84 that. for this one. <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> kind so of almost. Oh, they give us a non Dasani. I like that anything that's not Dasani is good. It's got to have something different. So those are the four. I don't know if it's because of the rain, but there are there's plenty of tables available. We're not we don't have to eat on top of a trash can like you would at food and wine on a on a non-rainy day. Look, there's a empty, completely empty table right here, which are kind of kind of tough to find. I'm kind of disappointed we're not eating on a so on the porch for you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just like holding the. Thank you for giving me the fork. <laughs> I kind of wanted to eat on a trash can. I don't feel I mean, like I. You want me to bring a trash can over? There's one right there. Over. Yeah. Park Bali. They look like a little boat. Oh. Oh, what is this? What was that place that we went to? Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee's, where I dropped the noodles. You dropped oh, the yeah. spaghetti. You dropped the spaghetti on the <laughs> picnic table, and you ate it. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> oh, yes, that is really good. Someone's backing up. It has like little chunks of something in it. Oh, no, hey, it's not, what did I do? Montanera. 
fried house made pizza dough with pomodoro sauce, parmesan, and fresh basil. Mm -hmm. We also got the dolce pizza, fried house made pizza dough with sugar and cinnamon. I'll get a behind the scenes. We right got here. the farfalli, farfalli, salmone. See, I always thought caprese meant like tomato and mozzarella because of caprese salad. What does it mean? But what? I don't know. I'm gonna look, I gotta Google it because I don't know. I never asked Siri anything. What do, do you think? trust Google? Yeah, why do you not? <laughs> I believe everything on the internet. I'm so confused as to why you were so like, you're you like, do you right even now. trust Google? Is there cheese on this? I'm so confused. Why is I, it? It tastes like maybe cheese. Maybe it has ricotta. It might have ricotta. Oh, you're talking maybe, about that. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I pronounced it. Do you it ever wrong. ask Jeeves? No. Never. I remember Jeeves. You remember asking Jeeves? Yeah. I never asked Google? him anything. Though. I never did. What is, Nobody maybe does. look up Caprice. Because I think there's, how many S's? How did you spell it? No, it's spelled, it was spelled like the same I'm gonna thing. I'm going to ask Jeeves. It's, it's soft cheese. cheese. So this must have Jeeves. like a... Easy and buttery. What, that what is the meat that's in there? Smoked salmon. salmon. Oh, smoked salmon. Yeah. Okay. Do you taste that smoky flavor? Yeah. I gotta try Kinda. this. Yeah. I feel like it's the most expensive booth. It oh, is. 100%. Way yeah. too expensive. Yeah. I'm more excited than other booths. Pretty close to Japan. Oh, well, yeah, I'm excited for Japan. I'm gonna get that sushi tree. Sushi tree. I think I am. Yeah. Sushi You're gonna get it? Yeah. It's not new, but you have to get it. It's like this. We just spent like $100, and I'm still hungry. Yeah, this was like 50 bucks for real. For all that. Yeah. Ooh. That does have a churro taste to it. Yeah. yeah. Cinnamon sugar. Oh, yeah. Fried dough, cinnamon sugar. Oh, geez. Churros have a little bit more fried surface area, though. Wait, you can tell the difference between a Disneyland churro and a Disney World churro? Yeah, yeah. the Disneyland churros what? are fresh. What? Disneyland ones are made fresh, ours are frozen. Yeah, no, no, I mean, they're like, they sit. Really? Warmed up, yeah. yeah. Which do you like better, here? No, no Disneyland. Disneyland. Really? Yeah. You should do a taste test. Try it. Coast to coast. Coast to coast, churro oh, challenge. I'll hop on a plane right now. Oh, do it. <laughs> Disneyland churros are better. Yeah. Okay, Disneyland I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I am gonna start here and get a churro, fly out there, eat a churro there, and I'll let you know. I wanna do it with you. But wait, if you agree. Let's do it right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see the inside. Oh, it's so dense. Oh Look my how goodness dense it is. gracious. That's like a rock of chocolate. Is that yeah. peanut butter? I don't, let's see. It's so dense, holy cow. Okay, let's see. Okay. You see it's pretty all right? <laughs> it's pretty all right. It's pretty all right. It's a... <laughs> All right, we're backtracking a little bit, or should I say backtracking a lot, going back over to Norway to look at, or to... You drop, you drop us up in there? Don't, don't wait for me. <laughs> don't. Go on without me. <laughs> yeah, dare I say probably, well, it's hard to pick because I, I do love Pierre Noel, and I love La Bafana, we just saw, but I also like the Barn Santa over at Norway. So we're gonna go see the Barn Santa perform. Nate's smart. Nate has the umbrella over there. I have an umbrella. I'm gonna go stand under his umbrella. I have an umbrella right from me. Can I borrow you? What if I want to stand under Nate's umbrella? Let's stand together. You Not and me. I'm gonna take you away from me. You guys didn't bring an umbrella? No. I didn't either. Why would you? If you bring one, it doesn't rain. Right. Exactly. I thought he just said, why woo with you? <laughs> why woo? I was the only one. Oh, I just, of our attempts. There we go. But if we get Nate over here, we have double the umbrellas. Oh, Jen's coming too, and she'll have an umbrella too. We have three. We have three umbrellas. We should, I wave at Nate? should I wave at Nate to come over here? Nate, bring your umbrella over here, Nate. He's ignoring you. He's waiting for the barn that's Santa. A, that's a fight right there. That's a lot of people <laughs> waiting for the barn Santa. What if he doesn't show up? What know. if barn Santa's scared of the rain? Oh, they're gonna you they think gotta, he is? They have, to, they have to wipe down the stage. Barn good sign. He's Barnes? wearing those silly shoes. You can't, you can't slip. Barn Santa's not afraid of anything. Uh, how do you know? Have you asked him? We should ask him what he's afraid it's of. It's like the honey badger. We should ask him what his fears are. Ask him what his dreams are. Uh, oh, oh. Barn Santa. Oh. No, Barn Santa. Okay. It's because I put up the umbrella, isn't it? It's all Tim's fault. Tim cursed it. <laughs> Look at how wet the stage is, though. I didn't want him to see Dang you, fall. Tim. Every time that we're close to Tim, this happens. It's Every true. single time. It's all Tim's it's fault. Blame it on Tim. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can wait next. Is everybody going to be here because of the rain? We ran here. Probably. We I haven't been able to yeah, see anything because of the rain. Oh, we saw a lot of Have you seen any of the storytellers yet? No. Just joyful for it because uh, the first joyful show. Joyful is the best. Yeah, the first show because it didn't rain. The second, they canceled. Oh. Well, they halfway. Halfway like they through. Were they're like in the middle of jamming yeah. out and then they're like, bye. I mean, I could see why because it's pretty slick. 
The captain of Team Naughty is here. Yeah, yeah. The captain? The captain of Team Naughty. <laughs> like Team Edward. Yeah? Or Team Jacob, but you're Team Naughty. Oh, is that the one uh, movie about the vampire? Yes. yes. Yeah, the, the glittering. I never saw it. You should watch it. Really? It's terrible. Have you ever seen Lost Boys? <laughs> Have you ever seen Lost Boys? Man, I know that saxophone player well. <laughs> what? From Lost Boys. How do you know him well? I've seen it plenty of times, so I'm intimate with his. Really? You like rewinding it and pausing it and like yeah. zooming in? It's just, I, I, I actually Googled <laughs> what kind of oil they used on his. <laughs> 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 Things you didn't know about Tim. <laughs> I don't know what kind of room he How else am I going to be the Tim, greatest? Tim never, <laughs> Tim never sees to surprise. I mean, he always has something. <laughs> oh, who is that guy? Do you know? Do you know his name? No. I think his name is Tim. Oh. I'm going to look it up. Tim the saxophone player? His, I think his name is Tim. You guys are like brothers. We are. Because brothers are always named the same. Oh. <laughs> you think... Don't tell me, I'm gonna guess. Look, what's his, what do you think his name is? Harold. No, uh, look. Is it, it's Tim. <laughs> oh man. Multi-instrumentalist. What other instruments Literally. do you play? Literally. Oh, next, Timmy. Next, his name is Timmy. Next year at Not So Scary, you gotta wear this. I know, I gotta like, lose some weight, get some muscles, get some chains. You think they'll let me in with those chains? No, I don't know what is over here at the Bavaria booth, but there is a heck of a lot of people in line for it. Look at this, there's just like, 50 people in line for whatever's at the Bavaria booth. What is everybody in line for here, Nate? A Linzer cookie. The Linzer cookie? A Linzer cookie. There's like 50 people in this line. Look at this line. That's my favorite cookie. Really? Yeah. You want a cookie? No, I'm okay. But I just was curious. Oh, it, what it. is a Linzer cookie? It's like a little uh, flour cookie with the jelly in the middle. Right. You got me a Linzer? I got you, you a Linzer cookie. Yeah, because I said what? That. Yeah. Like I didn't, you didn't have to buy me. I can't let you buy me a oh, meal. Well, uh, yeah, well, I was up there anyway, and oh, I'm trying to, I'm one? trying to complete, yeah, guys, because the line's so long. I was like, I'm up there, and I'm getting the cookies for the cookie stroll. This is what I was trying to Can we all share, Adam, can yeah. we all share one of these? Yeah, yeah. Don't take his cookies. No, he no, bought me one. Oh. Uh, he bought me yeah. one. I was what? like, yeah. <laughs> what just happened? Thanks, Nate. I was going to tell you, too, when you walked by, you I'm going to try this right now. Were you talking to me? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to eat it on the trash. Yeah, yeah big thanks to Nate paging Mr. Morrow for... Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to... Yeah, we're, we're moving quick, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. So... Oh, okay. Ooh, that looks nice. So what? It's like a fancy. It's like a, it's like a shortbread cookie. I'm not familiar with this. With uh, with raspberry in the middle. So much. I don't know. Right. It's raspberry. Oh no, it's alright. What do you think? I'm just eating some cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it raspberry? Yeah. You know? It's like a raspberry jam. Yeah. Shortbread cookie with Nate, raspberry. Nate, what's in this? It's a little jelly. This, this is my jelly. favorite cookie. This is my favorite cookie of the cookie stroll, and I didn't complete it yet. I already know. Did I just love Linzer like cookies. No, I'm trying, oh, okay. but I love Linzer cookies. They're just they're my favorite. Good. Oh. I think it changed all this year. It looks like it's a different cookie. Usually they're softer. Mm. It was pretty soft. Adam broke it apart. Oh yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh. That was Walter Cronkite. That was Walter Cronkite. He was the original narrator on uh, Living or not Living with the Land. Living with the Land. Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. Earth. Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. He said that. Oh, <laughs> it all ties in together. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is Walter Schiller. Yeah. yeah. This is a That's Linzer the cookie. Way the cookie crumbles. I used to do a good one. That was pretty good. Try some of them. Right. That jam is good. Ooh, is it your jam? It. It's the jam. That's your jam. <laughs> that's my jam. Try that, Tom. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a big piece. I feel bad. Right? Nate hasn't so, even eaten his lizard cookie. This is serious business. <laughs> It's good, right? It's too good. Is it raspberry? I don't know. I'm gonna look. I think it's raspberry. Is that raspberry? It's like yeah, it's a, usually raspberry. Like yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, it's like a raspberry, and there's a little like powdered sugar on top of it. I gotta show this. This is the new. This is the new nighttime spectacular fireworks thing coming out right over here. And they got they got the the drawbridge. So that starts on December 5th, the new fireworks show, which I think is also the day that the, the walls are supposed to come down over there. I got Goo Vine too. What is that? Goo Vine. 
This is house made uh, goo vine. Uh, yeah, it's house made spiced wine. Oh, goo vine. Oh, goo vine. Mm -hmm. so it's basically wine heated up and then added a little stick of cinnamon in it. Okay, well, cinnamon wine. <laughs> what's your What's your opinion on the walls coming in? I think they're gonna come down on the fifth, like they say they are. I hope. I want to see. Actually, uh, was the statue there? Uh, Walt. Yeah. I don't think Walt's there yet. Oh really? I thought there was a Walt? box sitting there with Walt. That's what they said it was. A Everybody says that, but when I look at it, it I looks like it looks like a paint box. Is that what it is? No, yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm just saying when I look at that photo, yeah. that reminds me of a job site paint box. But they paint. What if Walt's in just in a job site paint box? Let's Let's picture him sitting in there in the dark. I feel like that. Yep. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> <Yep. laughs> That's a serious thinking. It looks like it's on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, they call him toilet Walt. <laughs> toilet Walt. But in the dark. <laughs> That's that's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with paint fumes. With paint fumes. Yeah, paint fumes. <laughs> now we'll not be watching this this evening. Maybe at some point during this season I will check out one of the candlelight processions. But it starts this night. Here's a list of the people who are doing it this whole season. John Stamos is gonna be hosting at one time, Neil Patrick Harris, Brendan Fraser for the first time. Brendan Fraser also. That's kinda neat. And Joey McIntyre from uh from uh Boys to Men. New kids, kids on the new board. kids in yeah, sync. He was the cute one. In, in KOTB is how I like to refer to them as. <laughs> Jordan Fisher? Yeah, the one who brought back Happily Ever After. Yeah. All right, now something I've been looking forward to. I don't believe it's a new item this year. I think I've had this in the past. But over here in Japan, the sushi tree. That's new? Yeah. I'm gonna go old school with the sushi tree. None of the stuff is that Didn't it used to be in the shape of a tree, like the right? Yeah, they used to do it in like Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, it looks like this. There's the little star on top of the tree. This yeah, is how I remember it. No, I remember it being like the rice was like cut out into the shape of a tree and then they had laid oh. fish on it. Maybe. I, I don't remember. Donut. It's been a while since I've had this. Where'd you get to? This is the mochi. Pass on a little. Oh, like a dessert. Sweet potato mochi, yeah. Should we eat on top of a trash can? Yeah, that's all we got. On to a tr another trash can. I'm really happy. Another rain-drenched trash can. I feel like now I know of it. All right, going in now on the sushi here with a little bit of soy sauce. The sushi tree. It looks like a Christmas tree, but it's just basically regular sushi. Crab meat. We got the sweet potato mochi cake. Gooey sweet potato mochi cake with purple sweet potato cream, strawberry, black sugary syrup, and sesame seeds. I'm not gonna lie. If I realized, I didn't. Read if I realized that it was cream cheese, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Mm. Was it good? You ate it. I love it. Yours was $7.50 and mine was $6.50. I love cream cheese though. So it's like a California roll. Or no, a Philly roll has cream cheese. Philly roll. You say you're going to put me on blast? No, I said I'm going to put you on record. Oh, oh yeah, okay. You love cream cheese. Alright, walking back now into the UK pavilion where going to meet Father Christmas over here. Hindi, <laughs> Hindi, to all those gathered among the streets of this fair village, greetings. I have been known by many names. There are some who call me Santa Claus. But here in the United Kingdom, I am Father Christmas, and I bid you welcome. We are here today to toll the devil's knell one stroke. For every year since the birth of Christ. Now, let's see, where was I? Was that 65? Uh, minus 67. That zooms. That means I have to ring this blizzard bell another 1,956 times. <laughs> oh, well, I say we set this down and pick it up a little later, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> now, as I was saying, I am Father Christmas, and I have been around for many years, bringing holiday joy to good children throughout the land. Yes. Oh, and I received letters from many of you this year. Yes. Why, I received letters from you, my friends, yes. And oh, I've also received letters from you, my friends, and 
I received a letter from you, sir. <laughs> You're expecting an awful lot this year, aren't you? <laughs> Ever the optimist. <laughs> and seeing the tree all lit up up here is making me want to see if Living with the Land is back open again and running so I can see the lights on the land. Yeah, with the sun starting to go down now, Spaceship Earth is starting to light up. Monorail's going around. I'm going to head over that direction to the land pavilion and go on Living with the Land Holiday Edition. Only showing a 20 minute wait. It is back open. It's called Glimmering Greenhouses. Holy cow. Okay, the land is back open and the longest line I've seen on that thing in a while. Look at this. Usually the land is a complete walk. <laughs> it's a half hour right now. Oh, they actually put on the sign Glimmering Greenhouses. It's okay, 35 minutes. different spiel and lights everywhere and different designs and lights on the ground too as well. Yeah, take a look at the icicles falling there. See what you got the icicles. And heading through this corridor, which always reminds me quite a bit of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where the rowers keep on rowing, especially now more than ever. And they have the lights on the little fish farms over here to the right and to the left. And you got the tilapia over here. They are just all in the holiday festive mood now. Oh, and it looks like the hidden Mickey is even ingrained in colorful neon right now because of the holidays. You can see the see the hidden Mickey even better than normal, lighting up different colors. It goes from blue to green to purple to red to yellow. Ah, very clever. Hidden Mickey, ear here, ear here, and then there's the middle part of his face. And over here is another hidden Mickey that is made out of foliage. And it's even more defined now. It looks like Rudolph with the little uh, reindeer nose. Well, not Rudolph, but just a regular reindeer with the non-red nose. And then the antlers right there. You can really kind of pinpoint it out. You also have the ornaments. All right, starting to rain again out here. Precipitating. I'm gonna go back over to the gift shop. Get a couple things, and I think I'm gonna head out. All right, back over at the pins. I guess there were three pins. I didn't notice the uh, ornament pin here too, as well as the Mickey ear pin. Both of these are just standard ones, and then you have the annual pass holder pin here. So I'm gonna get a total of three pins for myself, and then I am gonna buy a gift card that I'm gonna do a giveaway on my Instagram, Adam the Woo ATW on my Instagram. Adam the Woo ATW is my Instagram, and I'm gonna buy a gift card and give it away on there. We've kind of been doing this lately with through the holiday season. I do this occasionally on my Instagram on Adam the Woo ATW. So if you just go over there, you could win a gift card. No questions asked. All right, got my product, got a $100 gift card. I realize that they have a specialty $100 gift card that comes with a free pin. So that's gonna be a gift card and a pin all entwined in one as I walk around the corner and see Spaceship Earth kind of, well, kind of sort of, you can see it. You know, it's like kind of silhouetted out and oh, there it is. There's a tram pulling away down there. There's a tram pulling up and a monorail going by. Not a bad way to in the night. Well, this is it. So $100 gift card right there. And I guess if you purchase one that is a $100 gift card or more, it's the minimum, but $100 I put on this one. And it comes with, there's four different pins. One of them is the Donald and Daisy holiday pin. So you get that as well. Again, just go to my Instagram, Adam the Woo ATW, all spelled together, all one word basically, Adam the Woo ATW. Leave a comment on the photo of the Instagram post that'll be up for one day and then I'll delete it. And after about eight or 10 hours of it being up, people commenting, I'll choose a winner based on the comments. So if you really like it 
and you'd like to have it and you could use this something that you would like to have leave a comment and if you feel like you don't need it and you see someone else that leaves a comment under that post and that thread give them a little heart and then that will you know get other people to think that well, maybe they don't need the gift card but someone who has left a comment would need it you know or want it more than they than they do so if you feel like maybe this isn't your thing wait for another giveaway and show a little love to someone else who loves something i'll pick someone by the end after after it's been up for a little while and i'll do more of these through through christmas but anyway that's gonna do it for today i'll see you in the next video look how cute donald and daisy look vlog is over